All right, so I have some replacement parts here. I have the two smaller springs, the uh, 932-3013 and the uh, 932-3012. Then I have uh, two new of the little buttons that go on the other spring. And compared to the old ones, you can see that they're quite a bit thicker. These have been worn pretty good over the years. A little bit bigger around, but about the same size, but they're certainly in better shape. These things are actually quite a bit more expensive than uh, the springs. They're about seven bucks a piece for these little guys. Um, and then the old springs are pretty similar. Um, there's certainly no mistaking which ones work. So let's take a look at compare the springs, the old ones versus the new ones, just to kind of get an idea of how much difference there is. And if you look at those side by side, pretty similar. I can tell you by holding them that the new ones got uh, a little more, a little less give to it, and uh, it's certainly thicker and a little bit longer. So, it's there. And the thicker spring, pretty similar. Again, this one's worn pretty good. You can see along the uh, sides where it's been rubbing up against the housing and the other swash plate. So definitely replacing those seems like a good idea. And then there's the assembly of the new ones all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the uh, bracket here that we rebuilt. Kind of get that centered. So that looks pretty good. So then this plate goes on there like so. And it fits a lot tighter than it did before, just because the new buttons and spring are in there. That's super firm in the centers. That's that's fantastic. So I'm going to do. We had that problem with the floppiness before. So I'm going to. I got some um, ten thousandth shims here. They're uh, five eighths by one inch. I'm going to put a few of those in there. See what that looks like with two of them in there. I can tell that's not going to be enough. I'm going to probably start with three. Yeah, I think four. <laughs> um, you can see that it's not quite, uh, the shims aren't quite out to the edge where the, the clip's going to go in there. So add a couple more. Actually, that's been pretty close. I'm thinking, thinking that may do it there. About five or six of them. So focus there, but you can see now that that's it's all compressed is going to give you a lot less slop in there. Let's see if I can do it. Oh. Just push that up, and it snapped in. And I've still got quite a bit of slump there, so I'm going to keep adding, adding more. It's a heck of a lot better than it was, but I'm going to take that back off and I can add probably one or two more. And that's one too many, so I'm going to pull one out and I think that'll, be, that'll do her. And that was definitely on there. Alright. So, you can see now the what I had before versus what I have now barely moves. It's good firmly in there. This button isn't moving around. You know, it's night and day different than it was before.